Hello. Uh, I just wanted to talk briefly about uh, the uh, annotated, bibli annotated bibliography assignment. Uh, so that is going to be due not this coming Sunday when the reaction paper is due, but it's going to be due the week after that. Uh, so that is on the 29th. Uh, so I'm expecting here. So first of all, you need to have uh, 12 citations in your uh, paper or in your, in your annotated bibliography, at least nine of which have to be peer-reviewed journal articles. So let me know if you have an article and you're not sure whether it's peer-reviewed or not, uh, and I'll let you know. Uh, for each of the articles that are included, like what I'm looking for here is to know that you are on top of this, right? That you have this paper coming up, uh, that you need to start collecting sources and have an idea of where your stuff is coming from. Uh, so that as you start to build your paper, you know, the sources that you're going to be using, you're going to have some sort of idea of what the, the literature says in general, so you can put things together. Uh, so that's what the goal is here. What I want for each of those papers that you have in, in your annotated bibliography uh, which, by the way, you, you can have more than nine peer-reviewed journal article sources. That's fine. It's just at least nine of them have to be. You could also have more than 12 sources if you want. Uh, that's optional. Um, in the eventual paper, I imagine there are probably going to be more sources that are not in this annotated bibliography that will also that will be in the final paper. Maybe, maybe you'll drop some of the ones that are here. Totally fine. For the bibliography, the annotated bibliography, what you're going to want for each of those uh, papers is a quick summary, just a one-paragraph summary. You know, uh, what does the paper do? How do they do it? What do they find? And maybe a line about like, here's how I plan to use this in my paper. And that's sort of the level of detail that we're looking for. Just sort of that summary that we went over when we when we talked in class about how to read papers. You can do that for each of your papers. You're good to go. I don't need like pages and pages for each paper. Uh, really just a quick summary will be good. It'll be graded on satisfying the requirements of the assignment. So did you actually get nine peer reviews? Did you actually get 12 citations in general? And also the, uh, the accuracy and appropriateness of your summaries uh, and I, I will check in on some of the papers that you've cited just to make sure that you are accurately representing them. So make sure that you do. All right, that is it. Uh, I guess I will see you uh, on the 26th. So it'll be a while. Okay, bye.